There's nothing to do in Twin Falls. Hey, you. Me? Yeah, you. There's plenty to do in this town. How so? Just look around you, you fool. You have a giant canyon right next to you. I do? Have you been living under a rock? Yeah. There's plenty to do in this canyon. Like what? Well, base jumping is popular on Twin Falls Perrine Bridge. The bridge is 1,500 feet long and 486 feet above the Snake River. But is that legal? By the turn of the 21st century, base jumping was made legal and is now considered a popular local sport. Next, let's jump down into the canyon and check out golfing. Zach Abels, Director of Instruction, Canyon Springs Golf Course. Uh, grew up in the area, played at Canyon Springs a lot as a kid, was fortunate enough to play college golf. Uh, came back to the area, turned professional, and get to teach a lot, do a lot of our junior programs. So, uh, no such thing as a, as a day of work for me. We're, we're fortunate in the Magic Valley to be have as many golf courses as we do. Obviously at Canyon Springs today, but Twin Falls Golf Club, 93, Jerome, a lot of really good facilities in our area for as small as the community is. A couple nine hole facilities, Kimberly, Pleasant Valley, Pebble Ponds and Filer, two nine hole facilities, but for the most part, everything's 18 holes. So Blue Lakes, private, Jerome and Buell, semi-private. They, uh, they do reserve times for members, but every golf course is pretty accessible. Canyon Springs, you know, the tee box on 14, right where we're at, looking at the waterfall, short par five, you can make a good score. So, uh, you know, this, this is home. You know, we've got one of our regulars, 89 years old, plays almost every day. We've got four-year-olds in our junior program, so obviously a pretty large age gap as far as the game of golf goes. Uh, lifelong sport. It's something that you can do when you're four, something you can do when you're 89, it's something you can do with your friends, something you can do with, with anybody. You know, great way to meet people, to do business. It, it's, a, it's a lifelong sport that has a lot of value. Let's head over to the zip line and I'll show you what it's all about. All right, sounds fun. My name is Jody Tatum and I work down here at the zip line in Twin Falls, Idaho in the Snake River Canyon. This is a fabulous place to come if anybody has a little bit of time and you'd like to spend some time outdoors enjoying the nature. You can also learn a little bit about the canyon. If you come and zip the snake with us, we'll put you on four zip lines. The first one is 420 feet long. The second one is 860, over twice as long. And the third one is 400, but it's a fan favorite. And the fourth one is 1,750 feet long, which is about a full minute of ride time if you like zipping. We're the only zip line that I'm aware of in our area that allows you to spin and go upside down, so we have a little something for everybody. If you want to just glide through like you're on a nice swing and just enjoy the scenery, we have that for you. If you want to do the adventurous jump off a handrail or do a flip or go upside down or spin a little bit, we have that to offer as well. We specialize in our special niche here at the zip line is families. We have our youngest rider was 10 months old and our oldest rider was 101. Dorothy Custer, our local centurion, she rode for her 101st birthday in 2012. This is our sixth year in or our fifth year in business and we've learned a lot along the way. We know a lot about our local history, how the canyon was formed, the geology, some of the items about the Bonneville flood. 
Um, we can tell you a lot of the things that are going on down here as far as the aquaculture, the business industry, as well as just general recreational fun. So we would love to have you come out, enjoy the time with us. We also enjoy having college kids come out, high school kids coming for dances. We have the Sadie Hawkins dance, the prom dance. We have all kinds of specials that we offer for our local folks. So please come out and join us. It's a lot of fun down here. On the zip line down here, we have a herd of about 25 white-tailed deer that circle around the canyon. Most people don't know that. We can go right over the top of the deer. In the springtime especially, we usually have a couple of mamas and babies that are right underneath the zip line. The sound of the zip line seems to intrigue them and they'll look up and watch you and you can wave at them as you go over their heads. We also have some red-tailed foxes. We have a lot of cottontail rabbits. We have the blue-bellied lizards, the white-bellied American pelicans. We have the yellow-bellied marmots, which are rock chucks. A lot of different animals that we have. We also have tropical fish, tilapia, and type of a catfish, and other kinds of aquaculture marine animals that they raise and farm here on the property that you have a chance to see. Now here's something I know you'll like, whitewater rafting. Hi, I'm Dennis Pettigrove with River and Adventure Toys, and my area of expertise is outdoor recreation. I am a native of the Magic Valley, I've been here most all of my life, and this is home for me. Numerous things are available in Magic Valley. Um, kayaking and canoeing on the flat water stretches, such as the lakes and the reservoirs, and the slower stretches on the Snake River. And then there's also whitewater opportunities on, most people commonly call it the Hagerman or Bliss Stretch, the Lower Lower Salmon Reservoir, uh, um, which is a nice kind of beginner introduction to whitewater. It has several good rapids. The most difficult though is a class three, which means it's fairly short, straightforward, nothing technical. Uh, waves may be up to three feet high and, and so on. And that's a very good, very popular stretch. Then occasionally in the spring, uh, when they release water coming down the main snake, uh, the Murtaugh stretch is very well renowned. It's 14 miles of river with uh, numerous class four, one class five rapids and uh, rafters and kayakers from all over the west of the Rocky Mountains. I've seen cars from Colorado, Washington, Oregon, Montana, Wyoming uh, come in to kayak that when it's flowing big. Uh, it's very large, big water, and it is definitely not for beginners. <laughs> it is experts only. Uh, very comparable to the Colorado, except you can do it in one day instead of 14, 15 days or 19 days. It's a great way to get some exercise, and I have numerous customers and people that they kayak for exercise. A lot of them are out just to enjoy nature. Uh, I generally classify though that group as the birders, that they're out enjoying uh, the birds and nature and that you. It's a great way if you have um, joint, leg injuries or problems because you're not having to use your legs and that you can go out and enjoy nature without having to carry, you know, 35, 40 pound backpack and walk, you know, 20 miles to get in the wilderness. Uh, several of those river trips I mentioned are wilderness trips that that's basically the only way in or horseback or afoot and that's the, uh, the only way you can see those. Yes, there are numerous places that uh, kayaking, uh, canoe, you can get to especially in our Snake River Canyon because there are not roads along most of it. The roads are just entries in particular points. A great fall paddle trip is from Niagara Springs State Park upriver and it's flat water mostly. There's one small rapid you may have to carry around and you've got four miles of flat water on road access in that whole four miles. So you see all kinds of things that you can be able to see. Really see. So yeah we've Rafting in southern Idaho is phenomenal. Uh, besides the Snake River, Hell's Canyon, and all the stretches of it, and the Salmon River, Middle Fork, Main Salmon, uh, you know, in various stretches. What a lot of people don't realize is Idaho probably has the most number of miles of whitewater of uh, any state in the United States. Wow, there's tons to do in Twin Falls. See? 
What I tell ya? What I tell ya?